What in the... What just happened? It would appear we're on some kind of frozen lake. But only question is where? How did we go from being in Azteca to being all the way out here? Something about this place is familiar. This is interesting to say the least. What did you find? According to the rune that's etched on this pebble, we're somewhere called Valheim. Did you just say Valheim? The only pantheon in the universe this place is home to is... Asgard! Well, well. I see you're doing well for yourself, Anubis. Your battles haven't gone unnoticed. Especially the one the two of you just had. From the way I see things, son-in-law, you and I have an old score to settle. Seeing that you survive, not one, not two, but three god-killer prophecies. Back to back. Your daughter-in-law was right about one thing. There is a higher power pulling the strings, and the higher power is none other than me, Ragnarai the Destroyer of Osgard. Seeing you good friends with the old father Odin these days, I want you to send him a message for me. Consider this the second and final time I show leniency on you. You think you, your Snow Wolf friend and your other allies can do it again. Survive the last god killer prophecy of all. The blizzard of death. A.K.A. The Everwinter. Anubis! Who was that? Ragnar Hyder the Destroyer. Asgard's god of destruction and unfortunately my father-in-law. Does this name ring a bell to either of you? Ragnar Hyder the Destroyer. That is not possible. Ragnar Hyder is dead. And all time was destroyed along with him. How is he still alive? We're just as surprised as you. Our recent fight with Oedipus may have something to do with it. His diary mentions both Dialga and Loki being partnered with Ragnar Hyder around the same time frame Spike applied to be my enforcer. Which tells me one thing. Ragnar Hyder and Loki had all of the events planned out from the start. What? I warned you if you initiated Ragnar Rock by yourself this would happen. Yet you ignored me and went through with it anyway. No, that's impossible. Ragnar Hyder, but how are you still alive? How I'm alive is not important right now. I am a believer of second chances. Which is why I'm inviting you to be part of the end all be all prophecy. The Everwinter. I can't believe that I'm even about to suggest this. We need to bring your father back to life. The Aldir's outlast got destroyed when he's out killed me with Soul Calibur. So we're gonna do it another way. Have you gone insane, Epep? Bring back the traitor spike with Northwing DNA? Why should we? Especially after all he's done to us. I don't like bringing him back all about the same. We don't have to make auctions at our disposal. It's either this, or let Ragnar Hyder and Loki kill us all. Though some may call this desperate, but we trust your judgment, a pep. If bringing him back is the only way Azteca can survive the Everwinter, then I'll allow it. If it isn't the angel hobgod daughter Courtney, how have you been, me dear? Ragnar Hyder? Is that you? None of us trust you! Be grateful that our lord doesn't destroy you where you stand! Seeing your lord a pep could have left me for dead, but chose to bring me back anyways. I suppose I don't have any other choice. You try anything slick with me, I'll end your life myself and send you to Elfheim. This time, I'll leave you there. Got that? I hear you loud and clear, a pep. Look it. You vile Asgardian bastard! You've decided to show yourself after all these years! I... But this time... I'm... Not... Alone... Oh, I see what your eyes want to see! First Ragnarok! Now Everwinter! You fight for lost causes! No wonder Mark the Snow Wolf destroyed you! You have got... to be kidding me. Again. Your time powers won't save you from me like before. This time, Nephthys and Kondu aren't here to break us up. Having North Wind doesn't make you my superior. Ape up. 
I'll show you who the true suicidal moron who the head first really is right now. Bring it. The prophecy of the Everwinter has begun. Not if we, the gods of Azteca, have anything to say about it. You will never get even an inch closer to achieving Northwind. No matter how hard or desperate you try, she does never prosper Loki. Father, stop this. All this because I choose to be with Anubis for the rest of my life? You are your chance, daughter. I am officially replacing you with someone who's more obedient. Courtney, remember what we went over. Yes, Godfather. I will make sure that they will all be extinguished. You have got to be kidding me. Odin's cheeky bastard son strikes again. Why you best guardian piece of? We fighting Courtney to be plays. She may be corrupted by Loki, but the Courtney we know and love is still in there somewhere. You always have, and always will be, an ultra-violent monster from the very day I met your sorry ass. If you want me right to hide her, I'm not running anywhere. I'm not afraid of you, no one, especially you of all people. Neither will I. I, for one, never run from a fight, especially not from you. So the Snow Wolf's kid is now Odin's new god of thunder, a title that you don't deserve. You tarnished those legacy with your unorthodox fighting methods. You couldn't fight out of more Spellheim if your life depended on it. Why do you have any room to talk, you bastard? You killed thousands in your wake. In a bit of a pickle, are we Anubis? By the gods, Beerus, what are you doing here? Zeno called Weeze and I to an emergency meeting and briefed us about this Everwinter prophecy. Rodna Hyder is too much of a danger to ignore. Weeze and I are officially getting involved. Consider this me paying back the debt for training Salazar all those years ago. So you're the demon hog that had Spike's previous title before he looked under a pep's service. What can I do for you? I will be the one to challenge Ragnarider. So I need your help to gain full power. Then what you will need the power of Valhalla, which I am more than happy to give you. Beerus, the destroyer of the seventh universe. This fight has no involvement with you. I am going to ask you nicely once. Stay out of this. My issue is with Anubis, not you. Seeing the danger you pose? Thanks, but I'll pass. I think I'll just destroy you instead. Then you give me no other choice. Blade of Everwinter. Solidify. I've never came across a god of destruction that's as suicidal as you. Originally, fighting another god of destruction is not tolerated in my universe, however, in this scenario, in regards to you Rogner Hyder, I'll make an exception. Something's off about all of this, the moment Salazar was born. What do you mean by that, Elusive? My father's emotions. It's too unstable, even as Asgard's god of destruction. Something's driving it from the very beginning. If I were to guess, Loki has something to do with it. Illusion is right, Anubis. His reaction to you specifically is too brash, violent, and unstable. Ragnar Hyder's hatred toward you is legitimate. Loki is using that as leverage, just like he did with Spike, which in other words, meaning Loki is the true mastermind behind this prophecy, not Ragnar Hyder. Ragnar Hyder was nothing more than a sacrificial lamb and use him so he can be rid of Azteca and thus guard himself. Loki is afraid of North Wind's unmatched power and potential. He's using Ragnar Hyder as insurance. Eventually Ragnar Hyder will realize Loki is just using him as a pawn. Galaxy is going to challenge Ragnar Hyder in Valheim. I have a good feeling that Loki is going to interfere in some magnitude. Once Loki shows up, I'm gonna make him pay for instigating this war with Azteca, and everything else that led up to this point. I rarely make requests to fellow Mobian deities of the same pantheon, but I make this one to you a pep. Make sure, Loki doesn't come back this time. Fear not Lady Illusion! I am about to head to Valheim right now to finish off Loki, where I know for a fact he'll be. 
All of us gods have rejected him, and Red Hyder is the only god he has left to sign with. Once your father turns on him, he's done for. He's gonna receive what I should have done to Spike from the very beginning. Pummel him to a pulp, Northwind style. You think a demon harbor like yourself is a worthy challenger to the god of destruction of Osgard? The con of the Snow Wolf village and that Snow Wolf's son-in-law poses no threat to me whatsoever. You'll be lucky if I let you clean my temple's floor. It's over, Ragnar. Your days of pull and strings with the gods of Asgard and Aztec are numbered. Intent on fighting, are we? Very well. If it's death you want, then you shall have it. Your Valhalla form is no match against me. Come on then. Nobody will remember you after you die by my hands. <laughs> 